Day 50. I'm actually day 54 today, but I wanted to just stop and celebrate myself, but also give some information for anyone else that's doing this of the differences I've noticed after 50 days. All right, so I'm actually just going to break it down into two sections, mindset and my physical self. So if you don't know, I'm actually on this journey for healing. Weight loss is obviously massive. I have 100 kilos to lose, which is 220 pounds. I've tried so many things. Anyway, um, and my mobility is suffering now. I'm 56. Am I 56? I'm 56, yes. Um, and so accumulation happens over years. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's a no-brainer. I think we can all work that out. All right, so let me just talk about my mindset. Number one, right from the beginning, I made a decision to focus on healing. I Weight loss is massive for me. It is a massive part of this. But I've done, like I've been, I've been ketovore for three, four, five years. I need to work out when I started. Probably, I probably low carb five, six years ago and ketovore definitely for at least three years. And then the longest I did carnivore for was two weeks, 14 days. I made it to 14 days. And I did feel so much better. My mood, I don't have depression, but my mood got so much better. They, and my inflammation decreased. They were the things I noticed in 14 days. And always, whenever I would do three or four days of carnivore, and then I'd be ketovore for a week, and then I'd do a few more carnivore days, that's sort of been my last so many years. I always felt better. The less carbs I have, I feel better. I'm sugar sensitive, which is not a medical term. but So coming into this, signing up with my daughter, not signing up formally, but um, saying yes, to Emma doing it with her for 90 days, I knew that I couldn't focus on weight loss because those times, sorry, I told you all of that to tell you that I hadn't lost weight when I, you know, over the so many last years of doing ketovore, keto, carnivore, I've still, you know, I'd, I'd probably lose a kilo or two in the first week and then I would just keep um, put it back on or or not lose any more. Okay, so nothing, no weight loss to speak of. So I knew I couldn't focus on that. Otherwise, I would quit because I've I've done this cyclically so many times. Excuse me. So number one, I made that internal decision to focus on healing. And then where that would lead my body is hopefully to weight loss. And I wanted to do this just for my own brain to know whether I am or am not going to lose weight with carnival, I want to know that for myself, doing it for a long period of time. And I have not done that for a long period of time. So that was, you know, a personal goal of mine. To stick to it exclusively, when I say that, I'm not doing the lion diet. I'm not doing meat and salt. I'm doing I'm doing the carnival diet and I've I wrote a list of what I am allowing myself and spices and herbs are included in that and so is sweeteners i have not had very many i've only had it a few times but i i can have it i could have it every day if i wanted because that's what i'm allowing myself i know that some people listening or watching won't agree with that and i get it that's your opinion you're totally entitled to that but i'm also entitled to my opinion i've had a few comments and things which i know is part of the part of the deal I understand that. But anyway, my focus is on healing. It still is on healing. Um, and I'll give you an update at the end on um, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to be doing after the 90 days. Right. So number one, 
My mindset is I'm doing this for healing first, first. Mobility and then weight loss, okay? Or weight loss and then mobility. It's probably more logical that weight loss comes second because my mobility has a lot to do with my weight. So, yeah. Um, so healing, weight loss, mobility, that in my mind, but I'm not focusing on the other two. I'm just focusing on healing and what I can control. What I can't control is what I weigh on the scale. What I can control, excuse me, is what I eat every day. I can control that and it's going to have the effect that it has on my body. Sorry. Still getting notifications from my Etsy shop. All right, number two, I have no option. This is a mindset, right? You know how we have mindsets about everything. And when we're intentional about our mindset, we have more control over what we're doing. How we think affects everything. So number one, my focus, I'm, I'm just focused on healing, which is why I haven't been weighing myself. I still haven't weighed myself yet um, I'm still deciding when and what and how to do that number two I have no option what am, what else am I going to do I've tried everything I've absolutely tried everything well it feels like I've tried everything I probably can't be absolute about that so I have no option if I stop doing it tomorrow I I don't have the only other thing that works for me is the HCG diet and it's so restrictive and it's not a way of learning a new way of eating. It's a diet. It's an actual diet that you stick to and then you come off of it and you do not eat the same way. That's what an actual diet. It's not a lifestyle. And it, there's a hormone which helps and actually really does work for me. Um, my body loves it. It switches, with, it works in my hypothalamus, my leptin and ghrelin. And it could be because I'm leptin, leptin resistant. That could be why my body loves it. And unless you've experienced it yourself, you wouldn't understand, you, you, you just won't understand. So number two, I, I have no option because I don't, I just don't want to do that right now. Um, number three, every single day I feed my mind, my mind with uh, nutritional information, healing information, carnivore information, low-carb information, zero-carb information, keto information, but not so much keto at the moment. Um, whatever I'm interested in that day, that's what I feel to do with eating this way. If I don't keep myself in that space, I wander because I'm I'm creative, I'm um, innovative, I'm the sort of person that needs that stimulation in my mind, I need to be in control of what I'm doing, I'm a leader, so I'm always looking for how to improve, what to do next, you know, and my creativity, that's why I like doing recipes and working out stuff that's just for me, right, food that's just for me. So every day I've been feeding my mind. My vlog this is part of my mindset is, is for me to be accountable to myself, but also I actually care about the people who, who are listening and who are watching right now. I care, I actually care about you. I know I don't know you, but I actually care about how you're going and, you know, if I can help in any way, like just if you can see all my flaws and all my weaknesses and all of my bits that it took me months to work out how to show everyone and tell everyone this stuff because it's very private i'm getting emotional thinking about it this stuff it's it's very private it, these are my choices that i've made that have led me here and you know i've had to work out my own shame my own um you know feeling bad about the things i've had two bariatric surgeries or three because i had the lap band, then I had the lap band removed. That's the second one. And then I've had the VSG surgery. And I don't regret having the VSG surgery. The lap band, I don't know. It never worked well for me anyway, um, looking back on it. But the VSG surgery, I'm so grateful for that. Um, 
so but I've I had to process and work out how how to tell you who are listening about this stuff because this is my very private personal life right um so after coming to terms with that the timing was perfect when Emma wanted or needed to look at another solution for her skin and different things and I've been sort of talking about the carnivore diet and low carb for years um for her and so she was like ready to give it a go the extra you know carnivore which is <laughs> it's probably the most one of the most besides the lion diet extreme of all the low carb options um and uh, yeah so so number four my vlog I, I i make all the extra effort to do this for me like this is my effort for me to make myself accountability to, to make myself accountable once before um i did a 92 day juice feast right four liters of green juices and things a day uh, a little bit of it can be fruit but green um now i had five people that i organized before i started that that i would text every day and and actually do a written vlog and text it to them and that worked really well for me and they were great really great um and back then i was running the cafe and it was 2012 or 2013 i think and i don't think i'd really discovered youtube like i mean I, there would have been no way i could have done a vlog as well as running the cafe that was a fairly new adventure and yeah i did not have the bandwidth emotionally or physically to i i, I would not have had the bandwidth to do both but I don't even remember having a vlog. I just remember, I remember Facebook and having a, a Facebook page was massive for me then and building that Facebook page up for the cafe. So there's no way I could have done a vlog back then. Um, but I had my accountability system and it worked for me. This is my accountability system and it helps my mindset, actually helps me, like I have to get it done. And I'm very, um, I have a very high work ethic. So that works for me. And number five, I suppose the other mindset worth mentioning um here at the 50 day mark is that i have hope which i didn't really have before again if i stop doing it now i will i'm back to square one where i don't have hope again because i i don't have a solution that i can see that i can do right now so that that's sort of i'm celebrating and and making note of those those five things here at day 50 and physically, I thought I would just mention, um, I've actually got five things. I didn't intentionally do that, but I've got five things physically. Number one, my sleep now here in at day 50, my sleep has gone to a regular consistent eight hours a night. Now, I was getting four to six hours a night. Most of the time six, but sometimes five, four, or the you know. Um, so that's 25% more sleep, I think, roughly. Um, so that's number one. Number two, I'm less inflamed. Just less inflamed everywhere. I can definitely feel that. Number three, I don't have any brain fog. And I'm trying to remember what it was like, and yeah. I definitely don't have any brain fog, fog right now. Number four, I feel 1,000% better. Yes, there's still room for improvement, of course, but I definitely feel better. And number five, I don't have any dread. And that's linked even to the hope. But I, I just don't have any dread, like without going into all the things I dread about, which I'm not going to do right now. I don't have any dread. So that's, that in itself is, <laughs> is it worth this whole journey? I think I need more than just that, but it's pretty powerful for me. Like that's, that's amazing. So where am I going from here? Um, Emma and I have both decided we want to stay doing this particular program longer, protocol longer than 90 days. 
So I'm definitely going to 100 days. I think loosely I'd like to do it all year, but I don't want to make that commitment yet until I get to 100 days. And then I will know whether I want to do ketovore or whether I want to stay carnivore. I mean, they're really the two things that I enjoy. They're the two protocols that um, I love. Will weight loss have something to do with it? Could do. Could do. If I do lose some weight uh, eating this way, um, that could very strongly push me in the direction of continuing to do it. Look, and I also, the reason why I haven't really weighed is because I also know, I mean, Kelly Hogan, she tells, she actually put weight on in the first six months and she was doing it for weight loss. She actually was doing it for weight loss. This is um, her doctor recommended. You can find her, My Zero Carb Life, I think is her handle. Um, but she just kept doing it. And I loved, uh, the mindset I take away from that is there, there is no option. There is no other choice. This is what you're doing. End of story. And that mindset, I borrowed that mindset and I love it. It works for me. What other option is there? There isn't one. So I definitely want to go to 100 days and then I'm hoping that I will be, I will have the results that will push me to like a year on carnival i would that's what i would really love to do and then i will decide after at the end of that year i can't really decide beforehand i can only decide when i get there what i need to do because so much changes so much changes i feel so differently to how i did on day one i've just gone back and watched some of the vlogs these are this is main reason why i'm doing them um to help myself and to help someone else who's looking. I know for me, I love watching other people's videos. And I would go back to the beginning. YouTube for a while took away that option of watching the oldest. But they've brought it back now. I love going to the oldest to see the progression of the journey. And I want to see that in me as well, you know. So that's it. That's where I'm at. 50 days has been amazing. It's not enough. It's not enough. And I honestly don't even feel like I've been doing it for 50 days or 54. This is day 54 today. Um, I really don't feel like I've been doing it for 50. I actually feel like I've, like I've been doing it a week. <laughs> it's, it's bizarrely good. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's me. Now I've got to, I've got to record some, a vlog for day 50, 51 and 52. I think I'm going to do three days. Oh. Is today day 50, 51, two, oh, day 53 today, not day 54. Yes, all right, please feel free to give me some encouragement. I love encouragement. I will do my best to respond to you. Um, let me know what, what you're doing and where you're at. I'd love to know what, what you're doing and where you're at, even if you're ketovore or keto or whatever else, and if you're just curious, kind of all curious, I love that. Because you've got to do you, right? I've got to do me. You've got to do you. And uh, we can certainly, <laughs> you know, still connect and encourage one another even in that space. So I hope you're doing well. Sending you lots of love. And I will check in with you soon. Bye.